if you're pitching yourself at a senior level, it's very easy for you to have strategic conversations rather than are there any vacancies going at the moment. So by talking at a strategic level, you can understand the direction that that director's department is going to be heading in. What are the problems within that department which keeps the director awake at night? Then you're putting yourself in a position where you can offer a solution rather than just be a CV shifter. One of the goals which I would set for new business for every call is to find out something I didn't know about that company before I made the call, be it the number of staff in their IT department, be it what technologies they use, be it when they last hired someone, but always get something useful out of every single call. If you do that every time, well, guess what? You're succeeding, you're winning. Get the small victories every time, and that will build to a great victory. So to summarise, Carol, the job that you're trying to fill is primarily office-based. There are good training opportunities, and it's a new position. OK, that's great. I'll start searching for suitable candidates straight away, um, and I'll be in touch next week. Brilliant. Thanks, Carol. Bye-bye. Ooh, listen to little Miss Silvertongue over there. That seemed to go well. Who are you talking to? Head of HR? Oh, no, that was just a secretary. <laughs> Charlie, you've got to raise your game, babe. Reach for the stars. You don't want to waste time on the minnows. You want to get your hook stuck into the big fish, know what I mean? Go big or go home. <laughs> the secretary. Unbelievable. Maybe he's right. Maybe I've just been wasting my time. Don't listen to Wayne. You've done all the groundwork, you've done the prep, now you're armed and ready for action. Relationships take time to develop. If you jump in with both feet, chances are one of them will end up in your mouth. You mean like, um... Exactly. It's also very important that you can perhaps set up something that's going to allow you to continue a relationship with them beyond that call. They might not be looking for someone at, at that particular moment, so maybe you want to set a call back in your diary for when they might be looking. Um, also, I think an objective that I certainly have with any new business call is to try and get a meeting and a, and a, and a visit. Um, even if they're not recruiting, that can be a perfect opportunity for you to say, well, whilst it's quiet, why don't I pop down, have a conversation with you, find out exactly what you might be looking for. It's always good to kind of have a, an overall goal for what you want to achieve that week or that day. But um, mostly when I'm doing the calls, I'll know exactly what I want to get out of each phone call. I enjoy those phone calls a lot. They're always the scariest when they're new, new business and you haven't spoken to the person before. But it's really good to get through to them and to learn just a bit about their business. And then from there, you can really start building enough rapport to be able to take the call in any direction.